Hello everybody, Michael here and I'm gonna go get going with Git and I'm gonna start creating my first ever Git repo here. So uh, follow me and let's see when we start to run the Git bash terminal. So I want to go with the terminal way. So the Git bash terminal that is included in the installation program, it is a bash terminal, so it's really a Unix terminal. And that is what I'm going to use when I sort of work with Git. So the first thing I, I need to do before starting my sort of Git repository, that would be to make a directory to work with. So what should I call it? I just call it demo. Hmm. Ooh, file exists. So I'm gonna remove that. This is this is sort of a Unix style for removing stuff. So let's remove that. Uh, R M R F. Hey, bygone. So let's start. I want to create my directory. Yay! So we're gonna move into the directory. And demo there. I'm gonna do ls. There is nothing in there and I can do ls minus la just to show all the hidden files and nothing is there for now. So the first thing I need to do is to initiate this as a git repository. I do that using git init and it will sort of yay now this is a git repository and when it is I can do git status and I could sort of check what have I done any changes to my repository and no nothing to commit nothing to add everything is fine and if I want to check out what happened when I did git init I can do um, ls-la to see the hidden files and we can see here that we have the git directory and that is a sort of administration directory for the git repository so all the files will be stored in there and we can uh, we can have a look at it ls-l in the git directory and sometimes you can go in there and configure stuff but we won't do that today we're just going to leave it as it is okay Good, so let's start by creating our first ever file. So a git repository could perhaps have a readme.markdown file. So I'm just gonna create that file. Uh, the touch command, it's a Unix command that does that for me. And you can see the file is here and it is empty for now. So I could open up a text editor here. So let's do that. I'm gonna open up my Atom text editor here and we see that we have an empty readme file. So I'm gonna add something to it. Uh, my repo readme. Um, I'm gonna make, this is a markdown file. So I'm gonna make that a headline about my repo, something like that. And I'm gonna save it. And we can see the file is here. Now it has like 57 bytes in it. Okay, that's good. Git status. So what is the status of my repo now? Okay, let's clear the screen and do that again. Git status. So we got an untracked file and that seems reasonable because I just added the file into this directory, but I have not yet added it to the Git repository and sort of the git history and everything that is that is then stored in this directory so here in this directory but let's leave that so we're going to add the file so we're going to add the file and i could add it like labeling the file specific or i can just do like this it's a bit rough but it will add all the files that were shown here uh, using git status so i'm going to add that there we go, git add. So let's say git status again. If I just go error up, I get the history so I can, I don't need to sort of rewrite the commands all the time. Excellent, so we have changes to be committed to this repository. So I have added a new file, but I have not sort of written the history. I have not sort of made my change permanent. 
So I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna do that using git commit and that is sort of writing the current change into the git history log. So git commit and I could say that I only want to commit this change or this file but I will do it minus a for all. So that's also a bit rough but I will change all the changes that I've currently made I want to commit now. And I want to sort of if I just do it like this and enter, uh, the git want me to write in a some kind of a commit message. And I can do that in my editor here. So I guess this is vi or vim that was open for me. So I'm going to exit that. I'm going to do escape uh, that, that and that. You see those those uh, that small command there so I'm gonna go out and leave that because I want to add the commit message right here on the on the terminal line instead so adding the readme there we go so git status now says on branch master nothing to commit working tree is clean excellent and everything seems to work let's see what happens if i go in here and just do some changes here i'm going to change that also to be like a unix line uh, uh, unix line endings instead and i'm going to save that and then we can go in here and see git status okay uh read me again changes not stage for commit okay so i can sh i can sort of commit these changes again so i'm gonna go git commit minus a minus m fix spelling in read me like that git status excellent everything is okay and now I could also, if I want to, I could also use the git log command and I will then get a sort of a history log written. So this is one way. Usually you try to sort of format this history log so you see it in a sort of a, a nicer way, but this is the sort of rough history log for now. And we see all the commits, we see who did it and we see the commit message and when we were and we could actually sort of also see what were what were the changes but i think this is enough for now this is the first ever git repository and we have sort of um, started to work with the small git commands to be able to sort of deal with it and save a history log of all the changes in the software documentation we do here so it's really really useful but i'm gonna leave it for now so thank you for today and i see you in another video bye bye